Right now, we are awaiting a federal judge's decision that could halt the deportation of Iraqi immigrants arrested by ICE. The ACLU went back to court today with another emergency motion asking a judge to expand a stay, preventing deportation of about 100 Iraqis arrested this month in Metro Detroit. Rod Maloney was in court today. Rod, I, I guess this decision could come down any time, huh? Yeah, it could. Any second here, Steve. We're, we're waiting for the judge, and he didn't give us an exact time, but the last time he did this, it was within 24 hours. But here's the thing. This case has been a bit of a moving target. The stay that had that started last Wednesday, the ruling came on Thursday, affected the Iraqi uh, detainees and the, those who have those deportation orders from Michigan and Ohio. But since then, the ACLU has found out there are about 85 others in other places like Nashville and Texas, and they said they want them rolled into this as well, and that's what they went to the judge today, asking for. Worried these men rounded up will face incalculable horrors if sent back to their home country. The ACLU is asking for more help. ACLU lead attorney Michael Steinberg reminds. People's lives are at stake. Uh, tomorrow the government is planning to send individuals who are in grave danger of persecution, torture or death back to Iraq. They know that and they're in a rush to send them back. We're saying what's the rush? The government transferred a lot of detainees with final deportation orders to differing immigration and customs facilities nationwide. The ACLU's Marco Schlanger says this bogs down the appeals process deliberately. There are other people in other districts whose access to the federal courts is being eroded and, and erased by these repeat transfers that's making it impossible for anybody to represent them and file cases in other courts. Government Attorney Jennifer Newby argued to Judge Mark Goldsmith that this court does not have the jurisdiction and temporary restraining order could not be granted in this case. It's her contention an expanded TRO is new and a different request. And in the end, there may not even be a valid class to protect under U.S. law. What's more, she said, ICE is not moving detainees every few days, and it's ICE's prerogative to move detainees for operational reasons. Now, the government is arguing that just because they move a detainee does not uh, keep them from having an appeal made. But the ACLU is saying, no, that's not the case. Usually they need to have an attorney somewhere in that location sign the paperwork to make it happen. So the judge asking a lot of questions in this case, but he is still trying to figure out if, in fact, he has jurisdiction in the first place. Very dicey case. It'll be interesting to see when that ruling does come out. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.